Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use these confetti dies to create some metallic confetti that I'm going to use on the front of my card. First things first, I'm going to squirt my paints with plenty of water to get them all going. This is my hybrid Prima Metallic Accents palette. I took my favourites from the Originals palette and the Pastel palette and put them all in one palette because these little white pans are removable. And now all I'm going to do is take the colours and paint them on this piece of mixed media paper to create some shimmery metallic paper that I can use for die cutting. I could let this dry naturally, but I'm going to give it a helping hand with my hairdryer just to speed the process up. And if you wanted to use these bits of confetti in a shaker, say, or a see-through pocket, then you can always put colour on the back side of mixed media paper so they are colourful on both sides. I'm adding the dies in this orientation so that each style can get more than one colour. If I added it this way, then each style would only get one colour. So I hold those down with some washi tape, run it through my cuttle bug, and then I will die cut from this bit as well. And there we go, a lovely little pastel confetti rainbow. If you haven't got confetti dies as such, you could just use any small dies. You could use hearts, stars, circles, diamonds, whatever you've got. And if you don't want to go to the trouble of colouring some paper with paints, you can just use foiled paper, glitter cardstock, regular pattern paper, it doesn't have to be shiny. But now we're going to see what we can do with these. To me, confetti shouts happy birthday. So I've got some happy birthday dies here. And I'm going to cut them from black glitter cardstock to help them stand out amongst the pastel shapes. I've got a panel of linen textured card, some high tack glue. And now I'm going to add my sentiment because I think that's going to be the eye catching bit because it is black. to die cut the birthday out of a bit that already had a little cut in it so it severed the bottom of the bee but I can stick that back down and you'd never know. Now I need to find the dot for my eye. And now it's time for some confetti and I think I'm going to have it tumbling in from the top as if it was dropping down. I'll start with the larger shapes and then I can fill in gaps with smaller shapes. So I think the trick with something like this knowing where to put the bits is try and get the colours spread out and try and get the shapes spread out. Don't have too many of the same things next to each other unless you want to create something that the eye is particularly drawn towards. If you don't want to bother with all the gluing you could before you die cut your shapes put some double sided adhesive on the back and then they would come out sticky once you'd remove the release paper. And now I think I want one more little one down here, maybe a blue. And then I want more up here so it looks like there's lots at the top and fewer at the bottom. Make sure you rotate your shapes as well so they look like they're falling, they're tumbling in at different angles. 
If you've accidentally cut some partial shapes, you can use those at the edge, cut off the bit that's not quite right. And just so I can see exactly how it's going to look, I'll chop off the overhang. I think maybe we need one more down there. Put some tape runner on the back of this. I'll add it to my card blank and trim the card blank down. And you could leave that as is, but I think a little bit of gold is called for. And you can use something like Nouveau Drops to fill in any gaps. So that's one simple but not very clean card. There's no white space on there whatsoever, but that's okay. I do have plenty of these left over, so I think I will make another card. For this next card, I want to die cut an aperture, a star in the middle. So I've marked the middle. And I'm going to line the top point of my star up with the middle there and run that through my die cutting machine. Now I've got a star shaped aperture in my panel. When I peeled the washi tape off it did rip in a couple of places. I think this particular linen cardstock that I'm using today is a bit sensitive to adhesive. So what I'm going to do is use the surreptitious positioning of some of my starry confetti elements to cover up some of that ripping. And again, I'm starting with the larger shapes. I'm overlapping the edge with some of the shapes because I will trim those off eventually. I want to create a kind of starburst effect. I've trimmed the excess bits off around the edges and now I want to trim the excess that's hanging over the internal edges here. So I'm going to put the star die back in its hole. Of course you could do this the other way around, just stick your shapes on and then die cut out of it. That probably would be easier. And now I want to create a sentiment and I've chosen this happy birthday because it will fit within the star aperture that I've cut. I'm going to heat emboss it so I'll treat this with powder, stamp it with sticky ink, dip it in gold embossing powder and then heat it with my heat tool. While that's cooling down I'll put some foam tape on the back of my card. Now I'll cut this out just to create a square and I'll put some foam right up to the edge of the star and then that will be stickable, downable to this. And I can take my happy birthday and line it up. I'm going to have to put my head right over so I'll cut that bit out. I'll add a bit of tape onto the back of that bit of card and pop this on my card blank. And again I think it's worth adding some Nouveau drops as a kind of contrasting shape, fill in the gaps and increase that sense of flow. And I can pop it over any bits of torn paper that are still showing. I've got a few bits left and I'm going to use those on one more card, but I'm not going to use the green or the blue because they're the only two cool colours in there. The rest are all nice and warm so they'll work together well on a card. Adding one or two bluey green ones would be too eye-catching and draw the attention where I don't necessarily want it. For my third and final card I've got a panel of smooth white card here and a stitch stamp which I'm curving to make a string from which I'm going to dangle my confetti. I'm just using the magnets to hold it in place while I pick it up. That was the plan. That didn't quite work, but we'll see if that curve is okay. Yeah, I think that'll do. And I'm going to treat this with talcum powder and stamp it in black. And then I'm going to heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. Mm -hmm. 
So that's cooled and set. I'm going to attach my little confetti stars to my string. So now I'm going to sweep like that and add another row. And I'm going to do another row of stitching and confetti. Bang in between those two there. For my sentiment, I want to use this happy birthday and I want to curve it ever so slightly so that it follows the curve of the stitching and I put this acetate in here in the hopes of being able to curve it and stick it and have it stay still long enough to be able to pick it up with the door. I think that's about right. Now, as before, just a few little gold nouveau drops here and there. And I'm going to add crystal glaze to just a few of these larger pieces. Could do them all, but it's nice to have a bit of variation. So these will just be dimensional and glossy compared to flat and metallic. I think we'll do five so we've got an odd number and there's some up here and over here and down here so they're well distributed so there we go three not very clean but definitely fairly simple birthday cards made using confetti dyes metallic paints mixed media paper a bit of stamping and some nouveau drops if you wanted to uncomplicate this you could omit all the heat embossing and if you didn't want to do any stamping, you could use die cut sentiments or even sentiments that you've printed at home and cut out. Right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas, things you can do with small dies that you might have in your stash. If it has, please do let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.